How's it going, guys? It's Bill. I know there's only about 10 or 15 of you guys that actively watch this, so if any of you guys actually want to see anything in particular, please let me know because I'd be more than happy to do it. It's not like I do it for views. I'd much rather just do what you guys want to watch. That's all. I don't want to overdo it or anything. Just want to let you guys know. Appreciate you. So, honest question, when was the last time one of you guys had actually been inside of a GameStop? I'm going to be completely fair. Last time I was, maybe like two or three years ago, if I'm not mistaken, I was buying like 2K19 or something along the lines of that. Something around, something current, a yearly release. So something boring, something I could have gotten online, but I just went to GameStop. I don't know why, but for some odd reason, I just wanted to check it out. I mean, I grew up in the 2000s and like a lot of kids that were born in either the 90s or 2000s, we all know that GameStop was like a huge part of our childhoods. It was the best centralized place to get video games at a time that video games were more of a niche hobby and not everybody was playing them. Like when the 2000s started, you wouldn't find video games at Walmart or Target or like CVS or Walgreens, do name it. Any like basic corner store, you wouldn't find it at it. So if you played games at all anytime in the 2000s, chances are you were forced to have to go to GameStop at some point or another just because of the fact that they were the only place that you knew could actually have what you needed and wasn't going to waste your time. But back to my earlier part, have you actually been there recently? Because when I was there recently, it seemed like it was completely gutted of what it used to be. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to act like it's different just because I was a child. Maybe it was just a lot better when I was a kid. You won't find any posters of new games coming out. You won't find any, like, promotions. You won't find anything interesting. It's literally just games lined up against the wall. Most of them are pre-owned. They don't even have a lot of copies of new games anymore. They don't have midnight releases. Like, nothing special about them. They don't even have the consoles lined up against the walls anymore where you could sit there and play with them or like mess around when you were in the mall. The first thing I thought of when I walked in there was just like, damn, this is basically what Blockbuster was looking like on its last legs because I'm just old enough to have seen Blockbuster when I was like a little kid when it was like literally dying and I mean, shit, wasn't it basically going down the exact same path? I think we all know that it started off slowly with just how they do business. You go in there and sell them the game and they look you in your eyes and try to sell you that shit back for 60 cents. Fuck you, first of all. But as game went on and the 2010s progressed, you started being able to get games online digitally, like straight from the home comfort of your Xbox or your PlayStation. So unless the games are going to be cheaper when you get into the store, or you're going to get a better deal, or the environment's going to get better, there's no reason we're going to walk into the store if I can just get it by clicking a couple buttons and looking at my card. And one thing that definitely helped kill GameStop was Fortnite, ironically enough. I know that sounds weird, and I know that sounds like a really big jump, so give me a chance. Digital games were already killing GameStop's presence when it came to buying games. By about 2017 or 18, I'd say a good majority of games were just going to be bought online as opposed to at GameStop. And Fortnite coming out for free was going to do GameStop absolutely no favors when they're sitting there trying to charge an arm and leg, give no good environment, and do nothing to help their fans while Fortnite is sitting there trying to provide free entertainment at the very least. Ironically enough, I hardly ever played the game and I never really got too good at it or anything along the lines of that. But you don't have to be a fan to see how the game really appreciates their fans and how they treat their fans when it comes to how they make their decisions. And stuff like that really makes people realize that they don't have to sit there and put up with BS like what GameStop put people through. But the good news is, while GameStop has started dying, the mom and pop game stores have started going this comic book store kind of route. You'll walk into these mom and pop shops and you'll find some games and they'll be at decent prices. They won't be too crazy, nothing insane. But they also have action figures and a bunch of other stuff, and it makes you realize that that's why the prices are so cheap, because they can sit there and take some losses or this and that because they know that the merch is going to get them more money. And seeing how mom and pop shops adjusted to the change in the market with how digital games sell more than physical nowadays, and seeing how GameStop didn't change makes you realize that it really is going down that Blockbuster route, because that's exactly what killed Blockbuster. They did nothing to change, and they thought they were right, and they did nothing to move until it was too late. So, hey. Fuck them, they still try to give us 40 cents a game, am I right? Thanks for watching, this is Bill.